you all have a pretty good reputation and a, and a continuing to grow reputation for uh, the work that you do with young candidates, younger candidates of color. But it also seems like there's, a, there's an evolution of who's voting and who's visible. In the growing mid-level cities um, around in the south part of King County, in the eastern parts of King County, is the voter dynamic changing there? Are the people who are stepping forward to lead changing there? What's, what's different there about um, how, I guess, both in the city, but mostly what people are sort of observing in South King County? What's different? South King County is where it's at right now. Like, I actually think it's kind of hard to run in Seattle right now. People ask me if I'm going to run in Seattle. And I'm like, there's a, there's a pipeline. There are people that want these seats. But if you go outside of the city, I think there's more opportunity. I think, yeah, there's just so many more seats and opportunities like Renton, like Burien, SeaTac is like such a more diverse city council than it used to, Tequila. And I think we saw it in this last election. It's very democratic. You know, even if it's moderate, it's still democratic. Mm -hmm. And so there's room for young folks to run and be progressive, but also, you know, again, like share values with people.